It's Laredo's party station. We're Hot 106.1 and a good morning. Uh, it's a very exciting morning because we're excited about tonight. The big glow fest happening at the Laredo Energy Arena. Paul Van Dyke is going to be owning the place tonight. And I'm lucky enough to have him on the line. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Uh, we basically just got up and uh, hit the road very soon. And uh, we're going to be in Laredo in the afternoon. All right. All right. So, Paul, let me ask you a couple of questions. Uh, the stuff that the, the people have been asking me on Twitter to ask you. Uh, number one, what made you want to become a DJ? Well, you know, I grew up in East Germany, so the only way for me to listen to music was actually the radio. And this is how I found out about electronic music. So I, I, uh, I fell in love with it. And when the world went down, I went to all the clubs in Berlin. And um, I don't know, I just got just got the electronic virus. And I'm probably one of the biggest fans this music genre I ever has seen. You need to be a fan to be able to pr bring this music to the people. Uh, and I was actually going to go there. You were there for the dropping of the Berlin Wall. Um, yeah. What was it like before the wall went down? How hard was it for you to get a hold of music and do what you really wanted to do? Uh, well, it, it was pretty much impossible. There were not record, no record stores in East Germany. There were no magazines where I could have possibly read something about my favorite artist. So every everything in my life basically started after my 17th birthday when the wall went down. Before the age of 17, you were pretty much closed off to the world, and now you're owning it. I, do you think that maybe the fact that you couldn't get a hold of this music is what makes you appreciate it more and what's given you your success into this music industry? Well, the thing is, you know, for me, purely because I could never, as I said, I could never read anything about my favorite artists or even know what they looked like. Um, you know, for me, it's purely about the music. I don't really care so much about all this, like, you know, pop stardom or if someone is famous or not. For me, it's just important that somebody is a nice, tolerant, respectful person. That's what's counting, counting in the end. And um, it's, that, that's the important part that I actually probably took from that time. You're taking advantage and, and you love what you do and you appreciate it because you know what it's like to not have it. So good for you, the fact that you're not even trying and, and it just becomes something amazing for you to look for the positivity in it. Now, there is some negative sides to uh, to EDM. Uh, as of recently, uh, I believe Wolfgang Gardner is uh, is mentioning and even Daft Punk is saying that EDM might be coming to a demise. Uh, I don't think you agree. I'm pretty sure you don't since you're such a big fan. But what do you think of those statements? Well, the thing is, it's like, like everything. When something becomes big, there are also developments that not everybody agrees on. I mean, the thing is, for me, electronic music has always something uh, substantial. And it's like very obviously a lot of people actually define those musical genres in a very different way. I can only say electronic music to this day and always will be the most progressive kind of art form in the world. And if you listen to the real electronic music, we you will find the great stuff. Of course, there's a lot of stuff also on the radio, uh, you know, that has not much to do with the electronic music scene or with electronic music and in itself. It's basically just danceable pop music, but it's fine. It's like in a way, you know, when the next big sort of wave um, of pop music comes in, then it's like, you know, all these music stations and, and, and all the people that right now think EDM is the biggest thing probably move on. And what's left then will still be the good stuff. That's right. Now, Paul, is there any kind of music that maybe you used to really love and you pretty much just let go of? Is there, I mean, I'm, I'm curious to know if there's something that you really liked and just don't like anymore. Well, the thing is, you know, of course, electronic music is my favorite music by far, but it's like I like all sorts of different kinds of things. For me, it's really important that music is intense. It has to reach out to me. I'm not really a fan of that kind of like wishy-washy sort of stuff, you know, that just kind of like goes on in the background. Music actually is something really, really important. Uh, in my life and therefore it needs to be intense like when something is sad it has to be sad if something is banging it needs to be banging it's, it has to be straightforward I, I guess this is how I am and this is how I would like to have my music I agree I mean I, I think in, in anything uh, music should be well composed it should be should be put you know there should be a thought process into it and I'm glad that you're the same kind of person you mentioned uh, electronic music is an art form tonight what kind of art form are you bringing to Laredo what's going to happen tonight at the Laredo Energy Arena. What is it that Paul Van Dyke does so differently and makes it an art? Well, the thing is, I begin with, obviously, my setup is very different. It's like I'm not playing with CD players or vinyl. I have I have computer, keyboards, and stage. It's more kind of like a live performance. I'm kind of mixing up things live. I'm actually producing tracks and music live inspired by my audience. And therefore, it's a very intense experience. Like, you know, I could possibly play your favorite track, but it's, it's sounding most likely very, very differently because I'm remixing it on the fly, inspired by the vibe, by the atmosphere, and, and the place. This is why I always say it's like 
I'm there. I'm the one who kind of like direct, um, you know, where the night goes. It's like we are all in the same room to actually make the night together. And um, that, that's my approach. And it's going to be banging. It's going to be straightforward. And I'm really excited about it. My first time in Laredo. So uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to, to see what's happening. I think that's amazing. You're not just spinning track to track. You're actually producing and remixing. That's amazing. That makes me want to hit this show even more. Now, uh, we'll, we'll leave it at this. What do you think of new genres that are being created out of electronic music uh, by mashing up certain things like Moomba and, 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 and dubstep? How do you feel about these genres? Well, again, I know, I, I understand that people sort of like, you know, need to kind of put a name on things, but at the same time, um, I believe it's about good and maybe not so good music. And that's a very individual question. And as well, it's like if you ask somebody, it's like, you know, what is trans music? What is techno? What is house? You get so many different definitions that it's kind of, it's more confusing than anything uh, to call these things that. Like, you know, what people call dubstep actually these days to me sounds more like, an, let's say, very progressive kind of way of um, electro house music in a way because that's that used to be that's that used to be the kind of like the slow brother of drum and bass you know and uh, so now it's like it's something very different and as well as like what a lot of people call house music these days in the mid 90s that was actually you know what people call trans music so it's like there is not that much um, you know that you can put into it it's like it people just like need a label I guess so it's like you know in a way I can't really quote on that because what I call dubstep might be something very different from what you call dubstep that's awesome I, I think it's I agree with you totally it's all the same music it's just a bunch of labels and, and I think the fact that you're more into the music than any kind of other label is amazing and I, I can't wait to see you tonight it's going to be a great show Paul it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you so much for enlightening us and thank you so much for making the music number one Thanks for having me, and uh, see you tonight. Thanks, Paul. Bye. Bye. Hey, Hot Shot. Request your favorite song anytime, anywhere. Text HOT to 69491 to join our Hot Shot Network and triple your